Aries, this is going to be a look at the harsh truths you need to hear now. Now, the purpose of this reading is to more so give you insight on either truths that you already know that you may be needing to step into, or for some of you, truths that you may not be aware of. But the purpose of this reading is to help you get back in alignment. I'm not going to be extremely harsh in this reading, uh, just to kind of give you a heads up. But let's get into it. Any information that you need will be listed in the comment section as well as the description. Thank you for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you. And let's jump in. Aries. What is the harsh truth they need to hear now? What is the harsh truth they need to hear now? Okay, so we have leadership. So like a true Aries, it's time for you to stand in taking your power back, but also not assuming that things outside of yourself have greater power over you. Again, ma managing your energy properly, putting your focus on your priorities, okay? And there are certain areas in your life right now that's calling you to step up to the plate and take responsibility. The harsh truth is Aries, you guys are natural leaders. This is something that you know, but where as of recently have you been scared to lead? Where as of recently have you been scared to, yeah, to, to step out of your comfort zone and make those moves that, um, that cause you to level up. It's almost like this fear of leveling up that you guys are having to conquer. All right, so we also have love abounds and we have, look, we have lead again. So we have two cards about leading Aries. This is the time where you need to not wait for your spirit guides or a saver to come to take you out of certain situations that you're going through. Okay, the only way you're going to experience a level up or you're going to experience a breakthrough is by you taking control of your own energy, your own actions, and just focusing on that, not outside things that you can't necessarily control or change, um, and just being aware of how your energy is being managed. Another harsh truth is if you do have someone around you who's giving you advice, who isn't the leader in their life and they're leading based off of fear and anxiety and not really giving you productive advice, you may need to analyze some of the relationships you have around you, okay? We also have karmic completion, the third eye and relationship change. So there's some sort of karmic cycle that you guys have recently closed out. You guys have recently finished up. And in this karmic cycle ending, there's a need for you to not go backward and also for you to learn from this experience, okay? What did you need to learn from that karmic relationship? What did you need to learn from that karmic friendship or that cycle that you were in where things were just kind of seeming like an uphill battle? Okay, the harsh truth is you guys are stepping into new energy, but you're needing to really learn from your previous experiences so that you don't repeat the same cycles over. Another harsh truth that I'm seeing, when it comes to you guys being able to see beyond the veil, it can be very scary to have your third eye chakra open and start to see a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> that you maybe didn't want to see. But it's essential that you guys are, for one, prioritizing your third eye chakra in, in meditations, And your, your spiritual maintenance is another thing I'm hearing as well. Okay. But when it comes to some sort of relationship, while you've been able to see beyond the veil in terms of who you're dealing with, what that relationship may have meant to you or what it what purpose it may have had to serve in your life, now it's time for you to let that go. Let that go. What's the energy around my Aries? What are the harsh truths they need to hear? So we have let go of being a martyr. Find balance between giving and receiving. It's not healthy to give so much that you feel ill or exhausted. 
So where are you being the martyr for other people? Where are you being like this sacrificial, sacrificial lamb, essentially, for others? Spirit is saying the harsh truth is you need more reciprocating relationships in your life. Where are you giving, giving, giving so much of yourself and not receiving anything back? And not saying that you need to be given to specifically receive, but if you're in relationships where people are taking, taking, taking from you and you're not speaking up for yourself, you're not setting boundaries even, that's that's a problem. And people are just going to keep taking from you as long as they know that they can push your boundaries. We also have visualize a shield of protection. To protect yourself from toxic people or situations, imagine a shield of white light surrounding your body. This keeps negativity out and lets posit positive energy in. So yes, yeah, so you guys also need to get into, I don't know if you're into spell work. If you are into that, then doing um, a protection spell would be beneficial. Okay, for others of you who aren't necessarily into that, protecting your energy is key. And you want to make sure you're not making your energy susceptible to things that throw you off. So this could be the wrong type of entertainment, the wrong type of people being around you, uh, whatever this may be. You have to be cautious of how your energy is being um, infiltrated. Aries, what is the harsh truth they need to hear now? So we have the Three of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so definitely some of the friendships that you have around you are people that you call associates, people that you could frequent, people that you could just be around. You could have some people who do not have good intentions for you or could be the type to gossip, to backbite, to, to spite. Okay, even in a workplace, I'm seeing this too. Um, the harsh truth is you could have certain co-workers who try to play like some sort of weird mental game. So be careful of who you call your friend in the workplace or who you tell your business to also in the workplace because there could be very heavy gossip and spirit there. But when it comes to your personal accomplishments, whether that's like certain goals that you've set for yourself spiritually or financially or in terms of your career, whatever this may be, the harsh truth is self-sabotage could have you in a chokehold. And when I say self-sabotage, this could be, you know, thinking the wrong thing or perceiving the wrong narrative and then taking actions that may hinder your progress. So the harsh truth is you do need to be logical you do need to be strategic. You do need to stick to a plan instead of doing like these self sabotage behaviors where maybe you don't have a set plan towards what you're trying to aim for. Or maybe you keep talking yourself out of doing the things that you want to get done and it, it's time. Okay, yeah, we got the four of pentacles, the eight of cups, and the five of pentacles. The harsh truth is areas you do need to get into saving or preserving your resources, but not in a way where it's a scarcity mindset where you're scared to spend money, but in a way where you're being just aware, aware of whatever spending habits you could have that hinder you from like growing financially. Okay, the harsh truth is also... When it comes to your personal health, there may be health issues you need to be more cognitive of, especially if you do have like a body part that needs to heal or you've been going through some sort of healing process after surgery. Hmm. The harsh truth is you guys are going to have to leave certain habits, certain addictions, certain relationships behind in order for you to really see growth overall for yourself. Especially with the five of pentacles, there may be a lack mindset connected to people around you, environments that you're around, okay, concepts that you could be believing in. But Aries, this is what I see overall. I hope that this did give you some insight. If you did enjoy, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe. And I will see my Aries in the next one.